Okay, let's set up AAA authentication for Telnet. So what I'll do is I'll say conf t, get to global config mode, right? And I'll say AAA authentication login, and we'll use Telnet underscore lines. All right, then group radius. Now this time, we're not going to put a none after it, we'll just use radius. So if it doesn't work authenticating to method 1, which is the radius, then you're not getting in verse with Telnet. Alright? So we'll do that, we'll hit enter. Alright, that's been established, right? Now we do line VTY 0 space 4 to go into line configuration for, uh, mode for our uh, virtual terminal lines and we'll say login and instead of using just the login command or the login local command we're going to do login authenticate to telnet underscore lines which will look to AAA authentication to the login method specified named telnet lines so enter and I messed up here. It should be authentication. All right. Enter. Okay. Let's see if that's going to work. So what I'll do is I'll do a uh, control C and let me do a copy run start to save my config enter twice and then I will open up PCA where our win radius server is located I'll minimize this window open up a command prompt and see if we can tell net in so I've got a command prompt I'll type telnet 192.168.1.1 enter username rad user which is the radius user enter password rad user pass and we're in um, enable of course doesn't work because we don't even have an enable password so we need to set that up on the router let's see if we can configure R3 to access the um, R3 router to access the radius server. All right, that sounds good. All right, let's do that. So what I'll do is, is I'll open up R3 and I'll do preferences font 16, hit enter, and an enable command, enter, and a conf t command. All right, and what I'm going to do is, is I'll say triple A new dash model, and then I'll set up the IP HTTP server. All right, that sounds good. So I just did this on. R3 located right here. So I said AAA new model and then set up the web server on the router so we can use a web interface to manage it. So from here on out though I'm going to need to use this PC to do it. So double click here and we've got to set its IP address because it doesn't have the IP address configured to start with. There we go. There we go. There we go. It's the three network. Right. We don't really need this, but we'll do it anyway. All right. Now, let's see if we can contact the router 
using SDM. So we'll fire up Cisco SDM. We'll put in the IP address of the router. And it wants level 15 access um, password. So and it didn't work. So I don't have level 15 access. I tried to put in the password recommended in the curriculum, which is Cisco 12345, and it didn't work. So I'm going to try something else. What I'll do is I'll go back to the router and I'll do enable enable secret class. All right? Now that's level 15 access right there. Now let's see if it'll work from here. So I'll say CLASS class, click OK, and we're in. OK, so just setting the enable secret password will help me to get SDM access. Username, I'm going to skip it and just put in, once again, class, click OK and we're in. So now that I'm in um, SDM, what I can do is I can try to configure the RADIUS authentication using this RADIUS server. And to do it, I'm going to need to click on Configure, right? And I'm going to maximize this. And then I'm going to go down here to Additional Tasks. I'm also going to do a edit preferences and set preview commands before delivering to the router. Click OK. Now that I'm in the additional tasks area, I can um, look for AAA. There it is. AAA is what we want. Open it up. And once I'm in AAA, I'll go to servers and groups. Right? And servers and groups, notice radius, tack axe, right? Servers, server groups. I think I want to go to AAA servers and I'll click add. And so once again, I'm in AAA, AAA servers and groups, AAA servers, and look, I can add a radius server. Perfect. 192.168.3, no, no, not 3, it's dot one, dot one, right? No, it's not that, it's 1.3, there it is, it's all the way on the other side of the network, right? All the way over here, that's where the radius server is located at 1.3, right? So, got to get that straight, all right? The authorization port is 1812. The accounting port is 1813. Right? I need to set some settings here. Um, let's see here. Timeout. I'm just going to leave that blank. I'll configure the key to access the radius server. Configure key. And that's going to be win radius with a capital W capital R win radius and click OK alright OK that looks good and I'll save the running config to the router and deliver OK All right, that looks like it worked. So now what we also have to do is set our authentication policies for the router. So it's under AAA, but it's under authentication policies. So we'll open that up. We need to set a login policy, right? Our login policy and tell it that when we want to log in, we're going to use AAA authentication and we're going to log into the RADIUS server. So we'll hit add right here. Default login policy, yes, right? That's what we want. Um, we'll hit add and 
and group radius right click OK and if we want to be careful and we don't want to get locked out the first time we can say none for um, no authentication as a backup policy and once again this is also going to be on the line console 0 that looks good and we'll click OK and we'll save it and we'll deliver all right now can we edit that policy let's go for broke here and see if we can maybe get locked out of the routers router we'll say edit and we'll get rid of the none so if we don't get in there's no getting in right so we'll delete we're gonna lock ourselves out here or we could say use local policy something like that right we'll hit add and we'll add a local policy as a backup we'll click OK and we'll click OK and we'll save this and deliver it to the router okay so what we need to do though is we also need to add a user just in case we can't get in so we'll go up here router access user accounts we'll hit add and I'll put my own name as Dan right or we'll say username Cisco password Cisco Cisco username Cisco password Cisco password Cisco encrypt that's fine privilege level we'll say 15 and we'll click OK alright they want a different username so I'll put in admin 01 and then the password Cisco is fine alright click OK and the password must be at least six characters so I'll say admin 01 pass which is one of the standards admin 01 pass we'll click OK we'll send it to the router save it deliver alright click OK and now let's see if we can log into the router and authenticate to the um, radius server so we'll do control C, right? Notice where I'm at right now. Control C. Okay, I'm in the router here. And I'll exit. All right, hit enter. And we'll say rad user as the username and the password rad user pass and hit enter and we're in it worked didn't have to use the local username of, of admin01 we we're able to authenticate from R3 all the way over to the radius server located here and we did it this time instead of using the command line interface we did it using the um, security device manager the Cisco security device manager graphical user interface and that was pretty cool so we got to play a little bit with that using this SDM tool.